day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. All right, here we go. You see the type, you see the topic. What shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Got it? Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's go to the I want you to break this down because it's very important. Read that, because it's gonna lead into that, that question at 37. But read 34, 38. All right. <clears throat> And when he had called the people unto him with his disciples also, he said unto them, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospels, the same shall save it. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his father with the holy angels. Right. And you know, based on what you were talking about before, what Christ is saying is, as a believer, right, to receive him, he said, Die, deny yourself. Which is what you're talking about, is don't go to the default setting. Yeah. Right? He said, because the bottom line he said is, Who's ever to die himself and take up his cross? That means die daily. That's what it means, right? Cross, right? Mm -hmm. And do what? Follow me. Yeah. For whosoever will save his life, meaning that default life, right? That, that's the only life we talk yeah. about, right? Yeah. Whosoever shall save his life shall lose it. Meaning, if you stay with the default setting, because if you're not following me, and I'm not talking about following your pastor, following political party, following supremacy, whether you're black or white. If you don't follow me, if you want to save that life, he said, what? You should lose it. But whosoever shall lose his life for the sake of the gospel, well, who's, who those people be? They shall what? Save it. So as a believer, it's not the, see, I, I want to make sure we separate the difference between the little, like you said, the little, I know it, sin is sin, but there's, there's different levels here concerning hate and this killing and destruction because First John says, whosoever hate his brother is a murderer, right? And that murder has no eternal life abiding in him. That's because they're not in Christ. They, they may have never were in Christ. But the fact is, if mm. you hate your brother, just like you know that 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 prayer by the Lord's prayer, he said, if you don't forgive, then my father in heaven, right, won't forgive you. Mm -hmm. So we have to practice the, the grace that you give yourself. It's the same grace you give somebody else. Forgive them. All right? So my point is, when he said in verse 36, how do you read in 36 based on what you read above it? 36 and 37. Well, <clears throat> I, well, all I can say is I read it in content. <laughs> <laughs> he said basically, you know, well, it's, it's, it's self-explanatory to me. Right? If you don't follow me, right? Because he that's the whole point. Follow him, even in your 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 default sometimes, you're following him, you're denying yourself, right? 
Because that's what the yeah. default is when I'm not de denying myself, right? Christianity is to pick up your cross, die to self, and 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 more move toward the things of Christ. So the people can see, like, I like that word you said earlier. I don't know if you called it, but it's like people looking past you. They you see what I'm saying? They're looking past yeah. you. And the question, I guess I should have asked you though, when you said they're looking past you, what are they looking at? The desires of their heart. Uh, uh, they're and, looking at the desires of the the the, the flesh. Yeah, you know. Yes, sir. That's interesting. Also, what could 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 that also be in the perspective of they also see it? Should they also look at Christ? Sometimes I'm like, I ain't, I'm not saying that. I'm trying to balance it out. I'm saying it's both ways, isn't it? Either they they gonna look past you and see your default setting. Or they're gonna look past you and see Christ. Mm -hmm. Which is what you that's what you want, right? They look, you want to see Christ in you. They want that's what you want people to see. Yeah. Amen. I mean, that's a blessing. That is totally blessing. But like you said, they're gonna look past you regardless. Yeah. Because that scripture we just read is deny yourself and follow me. But if you don't pick up the cross, you don't follow me. Can he say, oh man, John 14, 6, I am what? The way, right? Yeah. I am the truth. No one comes to the Father but by me. I'll get to a point. Because the next slide, now we're gonna break it down. We're gonna look, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna exegete the 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 scriptures. <laughs> I could I I think I, I, what I, and the reason I'm trying to get to is I really do think that you people need to understand look we're not asking you to be legalistic what we ask you to do and i like what you're saying we ask you to do is stop defaulting back to the flesh and you can't mix the world's way and christ's way at the same time no. But it, I, I also I gotta I gotta put something with that. Okay, okay. By saying you can't do that without the Word of God. You can't. You can't. You can't. You, you, it's, it's impossible. Exactly. To to do that in and of yourself consistently. Come on, brother. You talking? You you, you cannot do that without. The word of God being in the forefront of your heart. Yes, you sir. have to. You have to plant those seeds. You yes. have to develop. Yes, a garden Come that on, you now. can eat from when this world system and this world and worldly events and, and worldly people yes. come at you because that is where you live. Yes. And if you are only operating out of your default knowledge yes. and understanding, come on. and even if you have a, a library of notes from church, come on now, come and it's on. not hidden in your heart, Woo! you cannot live this life victoriously. Come you on. will always fall to the default setting yes. of your humanity. Yes. Come on, bro. That's how you can say somebody can go from a church service to a lynching. Yes. Because they did, they never, it never was in their heart. No, no. No. I, mean, I guess even the guy that was preaching, he probably was there too, right? <laughs> they, they, in other words, some people, hey, listen, everybody, we don't want you to have a head knowledge. We want you to have a heart knowledge. We want you, we, all of us, to get this in our heart. That's what he wants us to be, to get into our heart. And with that in mind, let's talk about the Beatitudes. My friend, we're going to talk about the whole chapter. We, we won't go so far in this. We'll go as far as we can, right? After a while, we don't want to make sure we take it over longer than, than necessary. But 
re break that down for us, brother, as you read it, because it's what do you think about the Beatitudes anyway, from your perspective? Because that's not that's not legal, right? That's not those not laws, are they? No. 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 This no. is this is Beatitudes is like a be do, right? This is a a do. This this is not this is this is following. These are, these yeah. are facts. Woo! Come on, bro. Facts. These are truths. Mm. Wow. They need it in our heart, right? We need to get these things in our hearts, right? Well, we need to understand it because these these this, this right here is like these are like like spiritual laws. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know, these these are are things that happen in the spirit realm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, because Woo! you can look at people who are are poor. Uh -huh, uh -huh. They don't look blessed. <laughs> yeah. In this physical realm, Woo! you know, yeah. but they are because most times their needs are taken care of. Come on, come on. <laughs> they exist. Yes. How do they exist? Come Just as now. well as everybody. They may not have all of the worldly things right. that people who are not poor have, right. but they exist. And they're blessed not only with a life, but in the spiritual in the realm. Spirit. In the spirit. They are heirs. Yes. Come on, bro. <laughs> Woo. Of the kingdom of God. Yes, there sir. is the, these are spiritual truths. Come on now. That, based on physical beings. Yes. That's what he's trying to get it. I think the whole point, you know, goes back to Romans about spiritually minded and cardinally minded. Yeah. And a lot of people default back to the cardinal peace. Not and, 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 and you gotta understand this doesn't mean that if you're not poor or if you're not mourning or if you're not meek uh -huh. or if you're not hungering that you are not blessed come on brother come on that you are not comforted that you won't inherit and yeah. that you are not righteous right it does not mean that but what it's saying is these people that you may be looking down upon, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> these low things are the things that I use to pull down those high things. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And 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 as you read this, I think let's 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 talk about it when you the 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 uh poor, uh mourn, you know, meek. Yeah. Let let break that down. Read those for us first, so people can get. Okay. And he opened his mouth and taught them. This is Christ. Yeah. Saying, "Blessed are the poor in spirit." Do you want to talk about that? What that mean? Poor in spirit. That right there. I'm thinking. These are the 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 newborn that this is just my thinking. Oh yeah. <laughs> These are those who are are thirsting after milk. And, but also, and, and, yeah. well, they, that's, that's the kingdom of heaven, right? But yes. this is the kingdom of heaven. They're gonna get more, they're gonna be filled more and more. They're going to be before the throne. All of us in the end will be before the throne of God, worshiping and be in front of life, right? Yeah. That's the ultimate. What I'm saying is there's a filter in this world pushing back on the default set and everything else. But one day, hey, they're going to be filled. Is, is, is that scripture about being filled with the Holy Spirit? Is there a scripture? <laughs> yeah, it's there. nice that be feel right. You, you, you feel indwelling, right, of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. 
So there's a, he said, bless all the poor in spirit for theirs, because you know, because I'm saying, you're not saying physical poor, right? This is saying poor no. in spirit. Yes. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven, because the kingdom of heaven is for to give them and fill them. Talking about you and I, all of us, with the kingdom of heaven, if yeah. we're looking for to be filled. And, and also, you know, you're, <clears throat> it's a, there, there is a, a life source. I'm, I'm thinking, you know, when you're at the end of your rope, I'm thinking this, this is where it's, it's, it's getting to, mm -hmm. you know, where you're, where, where your, your, your spirit is just at its lowest, right? You know, because you're just, you're, you're just being trampled on, used and abused. You can be poor in spirit because, you know, you're just exhausted with life. I oh, hope the fact you're not even being fed. Yeah. People, right. You know what I mean? You're not yeah. afraid what you're getting. And I think this is where this is this is me talking. Is I think the reason you can go out and do a lynching, you go out and do a hating, you go out and attacking somebody, is because you're not being fed. Yeah, I don't think this applies to those people who are lynching folks, though. Well, it's important, right? I don't think five three right. applies. Right. They, they, their their spirit their spirit is uh and i don't know what what spirit that is when he said poor in poor spirit it just to me it's more like you because if you look at verse six look at verse six yeah in fact is bless are they that do hunger and thirst after righteousness yeah they shall be what feel yeah so if you take that perspective of verse six verse three bless are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven yeah they have a spirit they come as a babe but they will inherit the have their behavior have by receiving christ yeah and then they grow in Christ, right? Because the Bible said, faith comes what? Hearing right. and hearing the word of God, right? Yeah. Okay, so look at what, what? Bless are they that mourn. <laughs> For they shall be comforted. Yeah. He said, he said, he said expedient did I leave, why? Because they're comforted. Huh? Yeah. yeah, he said, let me comfortable. I was sending the comforter. You know, and, 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 also, you know that these people who who are have Indians, have Indians, brother. Come on, brother. Tell these, them these folks who have received Christ. Yes, sir. You know your your mourning will disappear because these folks are not dead. Uh -uh. <laughs> uh -uh. That's all. Yeah, they, they're just gone. It's like. Like me, my family is is on the west coast. I'm over here on the east. Uh huh. Uh huh. You know, I'm comforted when I go see them. Yes, sir. And you're you know, comforted. You're comforted also that they know they're doing all right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everything's yeah. okay over there. If I ain't hearing nothing bad, I'm 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 very confident. I'm yeah. confident for those who have left this body, absence of the body. And present with the Lord, yeah. Cause you, I like your point. Look, I think you said a Hevidian, and I'm talking about literally being a Hevidian, being in heaven. Mm -hmm. We got the ones here. Hey, look, here we live in Hevidian, right? Yeah. But my fact, let me make some picture. Cause I guess I'm saying we're Americans. We can go to another country. And we're called Americans, right? Mm -hmm. But we're in another country. Yeah. And the Bible said we're in this world, but we're not of this Other. world. Yeah. All right. That means Havidians, those who have left, 
have gone back. Look, they're gone to the, the proper setting of heaven, right? <laughs> they, I mean, they're in heaven. Uh huh. Could the Bible say absent the body is present with the Lord? It's all I'm just saying is you're in this world, but you're not of this world. Those who are in Christ, who have passed the Lord, your body has passed away, right? They're yeah. where? In heaven. Yeah. You know, I, this was on my heart last night. I was uh, thinking about this. Um, I, I was born in California. Yes, sir. And, and so it, it holds a special place. Come on, brother. Hey. And my desire hey. is to always go back. <laughs> I, I, I really want to live there. It's just, it's, it's expensive to live there. I can't live there like I live here. Oh, man, amen. But, uh, but my desire is to be there. And if you ask me, where am I from? You won't hear me say I'm from Georgia. Come on now. Come on. Hey. <laughs> I'm from California. Yes, sir. <laughs> I like I'm a native it. California. I was born there. That's where I'm, I'm a native Californian. Amen. And so, and I'm proud of to be that. Amen. And, and what was on my heart is that the church has gotten away. Yes, sir. From being proud of being Havinians. Come on, brother. We, yeah, we, 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 we're, we're, for me, it would be like me saying, you know, I'm a Georgian. Right. You know, I'm, I'm, Georgia is my home. Come on now. Georgia is, is where I'm from. Right. And that's what the church has gotten to. But, but it's, but it is a false sense of belonging because heaven is our home. Yes, sir. And heaven is from where we're from. Right. We were born from heaven. Come on now. Heaven came down on earth. Yes. And we were born in heaven. Yes. Our spirit came from there. And that's the so, same with Yes. yes. I like that. So, so we have gotten so astray to where, you know, we're, we're of this local body. Yes, yes. You know, for us, it would be, you know, we are, we're from World Overcomers. Come on now. Come on now. Yeah, because that's no, what we're, 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 we're from heaven. We are children of yeah. God. And if okay. God is our father, Come then on. our home is Come where on. our father is. Come on now. Come on. Come on. So we are Havenians. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are from the kingdom of heaven. We are not from the democracy of the United States. No. And that's the other part, because we take stake into this democracy and we take sides, whether we're on the left or the right. No, we need to be on the above and on the above only. Right. And anything that has to do with this particular world's government, it should not be spoken to anyone else because other than your family. And, and I say this because how are you going to take sides with something that is against your home? Yes, exactly. This world system will always war against the kingdom of heaven's desire for you as an ambassador. Yes. You are an are ambassador of the kingdom of heaven and your king has decreed you to proclaim the gospel, which is the kingdom of heaven. You are to proclaim Come on the gospel, yes. not to proclaim the Republican Party, not to <laughs> proclaim the Democratic Party, not to proclaim President Biden or or whoever else may be in office. Come on now. Or your 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 local government. Yes, you vote. Yes, but you don't boast in that and you don't put other people down 
Now, come on now. Hey! I'm not, not agreeing with your decision for an individual who's pushing the agendas of this world and this world system. Yeah. That, that's not <laughs> what you do. Right. You vote for somebody who closely identifies to what you believe is going to align with your desires, but your desires should align with the kingdom of God. Now, if there's somebody that you are going to back that is completely opposite of that, then there's a, there's a problem. There's a problem. There's a problem, which yeah. is why you need to keep that to yourself you do. <laughs> anyway. You do. You I really do. Because this government will never align with the kingdom of God principles. And you don't go and force that in, on people either. And you can't, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot force that into this government. I know and it. And I heard somebody say yesterday, blew me away. Blew me away. This is on national television. Somebody said that this democracy of the United States was given to them by God. <laughs> blew me away yeah. now why would God give a system that is contrary to his <laughs> Come on, I could not believe and these are people who are considered leaders yes in 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 in, in, in Christianity well, they did it because they, the example you gave too was you heard that somebody would say that the president, the president that they got, the president they want, was given by God. And anybody else that was, see how they twisted, you said that's. Well, they can thing. twist it all they want, but if God is in it, then there would not, nothing on earth could have stopped that. Exactly. In other words, you don't, and that's what we got with, I guess, some some aspect of the day in politics, where some people try to force, you know, I mean, that was really was behind the whole January 6th, wasn't it? The, oh, you didn't, this, if this is God's decision, we're going to go ahead, This, if you believe that God's decision was that this person is supposed to be in office, so now what you're going to do what? Default to the flesh and try to force it through what? Lies? Deception? Well, obviously, God had nothing to do with it. You see what I'm saying? Because they didn't even accomplish what they tried to. Exactly. That's the whole point. But like you said, they were trying to... See what I'm saying? And I like what you just said because those are things when when people try to... I think, I think that some of the people that were... Uh, they twist Christianity, God will, into their behavior, bad behavior, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's just uh, misappropriating. It's, uh, it's a deception. Yeah, you know, and, and it's not the first time there were people who were desiring the gifts of the prophets and, and the gifts of, of, of those disciples. You know, because they wanted to use it for their benefit, you know, or right. just good. Right? And 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 it's understandable. I mean, I remember I wanted I wanted to be a preacher until I found out <laughs> <laughs> the, the the fullness thereof. I don't want to have no parts of that because right. it's not just the getting up in front of people. And, and teaching, and that was just my flesh talking. Yeah. <laughs> that was just the desires of my flesh. But but when my heart was on, was, was tied to it, no, Come you can on. have all that. I know. You can have all. I don't. I'm, I, I'm not. I'm. Hey, God's got to come and sit with me, and we got to have a conversation. Yeah.